to be older and then once you get older it's like you're always wondering why did I rush why did I rush so much so for everybody just enjoy the years that you got because once you get into your 20s time just starts flying by felt better than any award any trophy any anything to bring you to another spot that's really something special from my childhood. This is where I actually had my first kiss. I think I was about uh, 13 years old. And I remember at the time I was always listening to uh, Voice to Men. I promised myself if I was ever going to do an album, that's the type of album I wanted to do. I just put your heart on the pen and paper. I want to do an album where I can actually give people a different look of how to react to certain situations, how to be with the little one you love, how to really express yourself. Another way that I'm trying to show an example of bringing the love back as my whole campaign motto is, is that I'm always involved with charity events, regardless of what its background is, what charity organization it is. I'm always trying to get involved with as, with as much as possible. For me, I feel that it's important to bring awareness to certain situations that people are not really noticing these days. I've been involved with everything from World Vision to Make-A-Wish Foundation. At one point, every time any of my records or any of my um, videos would play, money would go to the Make-A-Wish Foundation uh, to help children in need. As well as um, anything that has to do with World Vision from the 30-hour famine to the AIDS conferences to the cancer research, the leukemia walk. And I'm really trying to show the youth that it's important for us to give back. We really need to come together to secure our future. The way that things are going in the world today is a very scary place. I wonder what my children are going to have to go through, which makes me want to work a little harder because of the fact that I'm trying to secure their future. Today, um, we're going to do something really special, something that's really close to me. Basically, what we're doing today is we're taking part in an event that's called the Gift of Life. It's a five kilometer leukemia walk. We're gonna go out there and make it happen. Can we get Masari up on stage to help us with the ribbon cutting? And I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for everything that you've done. The fact that you're getting involved in something that's given back to the community, you don't understand. The reason I called myself Masari is to change the name behind money. People think money makes the world go round, and it's not true. The things that are life that are priceless, like the love for our parents, the love for our children, the things that we do unto others that we don't expect nothing in return. If you don't have love in your life, you got nothing in your life. And money can never change that. And thank you for showing that. Thank you for doing that today. Thank you. We can save lives by fighting these wars and these battles and I feel that every time that I step on stage in the name of a charity organization or to know that someone out there is going to be benefiting from the, from the help that I'm giving them or from the efforts that I'm putting in, you know, there's no greater feeling in the world, tell you the truth. Really the meaning behind the whole DVD and the meaning behind the album. The reason why I'm trying to bring the love back is because I feel that's something that we're lacking nowadays. It's really so easy and so cool to be violent and, you know, misleading or stuff like that. Like the shady stuff is something that's starting to pump people's adrenaline and they're thinking that it's something good. I'll tell you, there's no adrenaline rush like the rush of love. Everybody, no matter who they are, once you see that one person that takes your breath away, you're speechless. You're speechless, not only speechless, your palm starts getting sweaty. You know, you're trying to find all the right words and right things to say. You're paying attention to how you're acting. You really want to impress this person. And at the end of the day, that's the purest sign of real love. You know, sometimes these words seem so hollow nowadays, and this is why I'm bringing the love back. So that people understand that we still have these things. It's in us. We're human. We love, and we do hate too. But it doesn't mean that we only get to hate and not love. Now, real love was basically showing 
what I feel a lot of people could relate to. All about the things you made me go through And now she looking at me in the eye And now you got me open, I ain't dreaming again Again It's real love that you don't know about Every now and then And you, sometimes you're looking at them, you don't want them to catch you looking at them Just little things like that, these are little signs of It's almost like love at first sight And that's why I call it real love can you pass me by? On the road is what what you want to you want your career to lead to you want to basically be on the road go out there and show the world what you've accomplished and show the world what you're all about because to me 90% of an artist is his live performance that's that's me everybody's hands in the air thing about this album is that we had no intentions of actually releasing it anywhere else except for Canada. We had no idea that it was actually going to go overseas and into the States. And the fact is I've toured the whole world off of one album and I, I have my fans to thank for that because my fans really took my music overseas. We're in the heart of Munich right now, touring. The album is coming out this May, and so I'm making sure I'm touring the whole country. And right now, they just called me up. They want me to test out some crazy cars, Lamborghinis, Ferraris. So stay with me. You're going to see a lot of good stuff. Peace. So now, it's getting down to the nitty gritty. We're about to get in this car. I'm going to give it everything that i got and everything that it's got to offer to show you guys how Masadi's living it real big in Germany. Keep it live behind the scenes. You're gonna see some crazy.